Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Carl Screezilla here and I hope you're all well and welcome back to War Thunder just for a bit of a funny, a uh, bit of a funny video really. Um, gonna skip ahead a little bit in a few moments, gonna cut through, I know it's another bomber video. I'm flying a bomber. It's weird isn't it? It's almost like I fly bombers a lot. Strange, I know. Um, I am, I am in my baby, my JU-288. Um, um, JU-288, yes. Um, quite a few battles <laughs> in it, in all honesty. Um, and uh, not too bad, in all honesty, for death to kill ratio. Um, 88 deaths to 40 air targets destroyed. Um, of course, ground targets, naval targets much higher. Uh, 196 battles in it. And a 58% victory ratio. That's the important thing here. Um, 115 victories in this thing. It, it, it is my most popular plane, uh, next to the C-18B2, which is just... Whoa, that thing was ludicrously overpowered. <laughs> as you can see by the... Uh, uh, just, just That thing was so much fun. As you can see by the... Uh, the, the kill to death ratio of it. 141 kills compared to 83 deaths. I need to take that plane out again at some stage. Anyway, um... Probably don't need to skip ahead now because I've done all that waffling. Uh, as you can see, very small match. I just wanted to have it, this up here. Uh, we've got three bombers on our team, and somebody else spawns in, but the rest are fighters slash uh, attackers. Similar teams. Enemy has a lot of AD4s, of course, and AM1s, and the usual things, but as you can see, it's a relatively small matchup. Now, first mistake is just going to be over here to our left, and just checking my bomb site, just making sure. Uh, Fury Junkart over there. Uh, the Spitfire is climbing up to him. And you can see, head on, this isn't going to end well. What are you doing? Oh, good God. That was just stupid. If you'd kept altitude, you would have been fine. Um, bombing is a really useful skill to have. Um, this plane has basically earned me most of the German tech tree. You saw there with uh, Yunko, he's gone down and tried to get speed up to try and avoid the Spitfire to get to the next base. By doing that, effectively got himself killed and lost out on the match. Now meanwhile, I'm going to spin around because uh, we've got a graph on the team. Um, he actually mentions, I don't think he's mentioned just yet, but he's going to mention in a little bit um, speed, uh, Seppi22 over there. Sorry, Sep22. Um, he's going to mention, can I take out those two bases? Because obviously the graph is going to be carrying um, a couple of the 1800 kilogram bombs underneath the wings um, and then bombs in its uh, bomb bay. So it has to drop, those two 1800 bombs have to drop at the same time, so it's a waste to drop them on a base. Luckily, the JU-288 that, that died did manage to take out a base, so that's all good. We've got two bases left. We're going to take them out for that uh, for that graph, so that he can just focus on the airfield and get maximum points and silver lions for bomb damage. Now you may be wondering why I'm emphasising the importance of bomber play. Well, in this match, it's a great example of why bombers have a use in the game, and why bombers can be incredibly viable and useful things to have on a team. Now right now, if we look at the scoreboard, uh, we have lost the one plane, it looks like we've lost two because uh, Panzerfaust there has got damage to his uh, TAR 152. They have lost four planes, so they are losing badly right now. We are very much in the lead. Now I've spun around so I can get a line up here and take out these two bases in a single flight run. <laughs> So we don't have to put through too much effort. Just going to line up here, aim for the middle of the base, a little bit of a wobble there, um, and then drop, and then we'll drop on the second base. Now important to get crew skill up for the bomber crew. Um, go down, I can't remember the name of it now, but I think it's weapon maintenance, um, or one of the others. Um, but basically it builds up the accuracy for your bombs. 
So when dropping at high altitude, you will hit your targets quite easily. Now, what have we got over here? We've got a BF-109 and a P-51 going head-on. That's not a wise move, but the P-51 is damaged. So, there's a damaged P-51 over there. That graph could be in danger, because that P-51 might go after it. It's looking at me, it's going after me, good, it's taking the bait. So, I was going in to try and start chasing it down, and basically, because I know it's got damage to the engine, keep it up in the sky and keep it damaged. And luckily, we have got a uh, Doe 3... Uh, a Doe 335 coming in and they're going to start fighting. Now the Doe is not going to be able to turn fight P-51 so we're going to come in as well and we're going to try and help out a little bit just by annoying this Mustang effectively. That's what we want to do. We don't really want to get too involved in this fight but we want to try and make that Mustang make a mistake so that doe can get on the back of it. And if we can, we'll try and take the kill. Unfortunately, they did nerf the JU-288, so your dive speed is incredibly poor. So we've got to put out our air brakes and we can't go down for the kill. And this is where I notice whereabouts we are on the map. We are on the enemy airfield. Now, um, so we're going to go to free camera here because I am going back to base because they are over their airfield. They've got two planes left. Two planes left. One of them is on the airfield being a complete bastard by jaying out and then coming back in after the enemy plane has sort of gone past. Really scummy tactics there. But we still have one, two, three fighters left. We've lost one fighter, but that's okay. We've still got three fighters left. As long as they don't go and try and fight over the enemy airfield. <sighs> so, we have two fighters left. Because again, that guy is using the scummy tactics of jaying out, so he can't get killed on the airfield. P-51 easy kill on the Doe 35, uh, 335. BF-109 is damaged as well. As long as that BF-109 over there keeps away, we should be fine. Okay, we should be fine. We can do this still. This guy spawns back in. Because he's spawned in effectively right there. He's uh, managed to avoid getting damaged by bombs and he's jade out once again. So he can basically avoid from getting killed and is effectively safe. The other BF-109 has come in and is getting owned by the AA. P-51 gets another kill. And we all of a sudden have gone from having three fighters to no fighters. Stupid death, stupid death, they're funny cause they're true. Stupid death, stupid death, hope next time it's not you. <laughs> we have got a JU-288 left, and an HE-177 Graf left. Oh boy, we are in trouble. Now, right now you've got to go, well, that was a really stupid move by our team. And absolutely it was. What is it with fighter pilots fighting over airfields. Just don't do it. It's a bad idea. You're gonna die. Now, we have two options as bomber planes. We can land and J out and give them the win. Or we can fight back. Let's skip ahead. So right now, we are both coming in uh, to get resupplied on the airfield. Uh, SEP-22 here is going to come in and get some real supplies done. Meanwhile, I am going to take off and cover the airfield. Yes, I'm going to cover in a bomber. I know, it's strange, isn't it? Um, but I'm going to try and provide some cover here for the, uh, for the graph so it at least won't get owned by a Mustang or an AD-4 that comes in and tries to harvest us on the runway. Now I can see some anti-aircraft fire going up over to the right hand side there. Okay. Meanwhile, the Mustang is coming in. Coming in on our airfield. Switch back to my viewpoint. 
I've spotted the Mustang at this stage, and I'm going to try and bait him. So, the Mustang is going to come in on our airfield, and we have got to start using our brain here. Mustang luckily gets hit by the AA. Going to have speed advantage, those 50 cows can be very dangerous. We're going to keep our bum to the plane, because we have got those beautiful 20mm guns at the back of us. And we're going to start firing off this guy. So we set off a little burst fire there. The Mustang's still coming in. Set off a second burst fire. Get a couple of minor hits. But we want to get this Mustang in close to us so we can do some real damage. And the Mustang's in close. We get the hits that we need. And now we've got to get the aim right. The Mustang's going to take some damage on us. But we've managed to kill it. We're going to pull out the wave so we don't die. That is the Mustang dead. The... AD4, however, has been set on fire, obviously, has got a lot of damage to it, and uh, isn't really in a suitable position to fight. This team has gone from losing to winning to uh, losing again. So the AD4 here, obviously a lot of damage, I can't see that as big, but Obviously, uh, engine damage and cooling damage. Um, carrying a bomb still as well. Looks like trying to get over towards us to uh, try and cause some damage. But the AA gets straight in front of him. And that is the end of that team. And that is a win for Set and Screezilla. Managing to clasp the victory from the jaws of defeat there. Now, obviously, I took some damage in that battle. But managed to keep it flying, managed to keep the engines going. And as soon as I saw that AD4 went down, oh boy, were we happy. Alright, let's jump to the post-battle screen results. And that is a victory for the team there. <laughs> Just, oh, good gods, how do you even, uh, what do you even say about that match? Um, so, yeah... Just look at it. Just look. Like. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Got to say, big shout out to uh, Sept22. Um, it was fun chatting to him just at the end there. Just trying to work out what we were going to do. Luckily, it all sort of worked out for us. But uh, as you can see, um, a nice amount of lions for that one. I am running a 75% booster. Uh, and 22k uh, research points. Always nice as well. Always got the IL-28. It's like... Ridiculous. JU228. Sorry, JU288 is still the best premium for just researching the German tech tree. If you want something to do it, fantastic plane because it does have that utility option. It can be used as a fighter if needs be. Um, well, sort of a not really a fighter, but it, it has that capability because it is quite maneuverable. Um, but it is a very, very good plane. Um, and then, of course, the fact that you've got the two uh, 1800 click kilogram bombs on board as well gives you that opportunity to take out the bases and do a good job there but oh good god just just what a what an amazing match that was just just how can you go from the jaws of victory to the jaws of defeat to the jaws of victory to the jaws of defeat so quickly just 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 amazing work there from both teams and again just showing the uh the skill of some fighter pilots let's go with that um, anyway, I will upload another video soon. That's not me flying the J288. Uh, I will be doing some actual history and stuff like that. That will come, don't worry. Um, I, I've not forgotten. Don't worry. I am, I've currently got a script ready. I've just got to actually do it. Uh, unfortunately, I have been very busy. Um, thank you for watching if, you, if you're if you normal viewers, but if you're a regular subscriber, just to let you know. Um, so you, you can head and off now if you're just catching this video. But I've been doing a lot more commentary for um, from Virtual Motorsport. So that's been taking up a lot more time. I'm also working a little bit more than I have been for a while. So my free time has evaporated significantly. Uh, but things are starting to balance out a little bit. I'm starting to get a little bit better. So it is getting to a point where I'm able to do a little bit more. Um, so yeah, expect things to come. Anyway, thank you for watching to the end. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Just comedy gold, really. Um, that's all you can say. Until next time, this is me, Carl Screezalo, wishing you all the best. Bye-bye.